Greetings. This devotion is for the 30th of March, and that would be Tuesday of Holy Week. The reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 18 through 31. As a reminder, um, I'm providing devotions for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of Holy Week, and then I will pick devotions back up again on Monday after Easter. Our reading from 1 Corinthians. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards, but many were powerful. Not many of you were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boasts in the Lord. So, this section of Paul, Paul makes it pretty clear that that as much as we are so smart or think that we are, think that we have things figured out, right? That process, right? When we compare that all to God, we don't have much figured out at all, right? Now, if we really think about that, there are the times where that can really blow our egos. Um, but... I think it's good news. We don't have to have that responsibility to have it all put together. Our responsibility is one thing, but to follow God. And then we can back off and let God worry about the rest because our wisdom in comparison to God's wisdom, well, there's no comparison. Our role is to follow God. This week, we're really reminded that the foolishness of death, Jesus dying on the cross, defeats evil. Foolishness defeats evil. That, my friends, is what we remember. That's what's so critical to us this week. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have called us to follow you. Grant that our love may not grow cold in your service and that we may not fail or deny you in the time of trial. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen.